Hello students, our topic for today is all about reading and writing decimals. But before that, let us have a quick review about the place value and value of decimal numbers. Okay, what is the place value and value of the underlying digit in the following items? Very good! You did great, students! Let us now learn how to read decimal numbers. Are you excited, students? Let us read this problem. Prince Gabrielle was asked by her mom to buy 2.5 kg of chicken in the market. While on his way, he was thinking on how to read the decimal number. So now, let us help him how to properly read the decimal number. Okay, students, reading decimal numbers is like reading a whole number. We start from the left to the right. So here, we will use the place value chart. This place value chart will help us on how to read the decimal number properly. So the rule is read the decimal from left to right as if we are reading a whole number, followed by the place value name of the rightmost digit. The decimal point is read as end. Let us have the following examples. Okay, so let us read this number. So we have number 2 and then point and 5. Okay, read it from left to right. 2, read the point as end. 2 end, then 5, and then say the place value of digit 5 because it is the last digit on the right side. So, this number is to read as 2 and 5 tenths. Again, 2 and 5 tenths. That is how we read the number. Okay, let's proceed to our next example. Okay, so we have 18 and 29. So, let's read it from left to right. 18 and 29 hundredths. 18 and 29 hundredths. Next number, we have 103.01. Okay, let's read it properly. Read it from left to right. 103, read the point is end. And then 1 and then say the place value of the last digit to the right. So we read it as 103 and 1 hundredths. Next number. Okay, read it from left to right. 146. Read the point as end. 894. Okay, add the place value of the last digit on the right. So, we read it as 146 and 894 thousandths. Let's have more examples. Okay, so we have 7 and... So, as you can see, the number on the decimal places is 51. So, 7 and 51... Then say the place value of the rightmost digit, which is 1. The place value of digit 1 is 1,000, so we read this number as 7 and 51 thousandths. 
Okay, let's have the next number. Let's read it from left to right. 53, the point is end. 53 and 1 tenths. Again, 53 and 1 tenths. Okay, let's have the next number. Okay, let's read it from left to right. 489, read the point is end. 489 and 5,722 10 thousands. Okay, what about this kind of number? As you can see, we only have zero digit in the whole number part or on the left side of the decimal point. If this is the case, we do not read zero and we do not also read the point as end. We go directly to the decimal places. So this decimal number is read as 5 tenths. Again, 5 tenths. Let's have the same kind of number. Okay, so as you can see, we only have zero digit in the whole number part. So this number is read as 119 thousands. 119 thousands. Okay, more examples. Okay, let's read it. 605 thousands. 605 thousands. Again, if the number is like this, you don't need to say the digit zero and the word end. Okay, next. Read the number. So we only have four. So four, say the place value of the digit four. So it's four thousands. Again, four thousands. Okay. Moving on to the next number, we have, okay, 90 hundreds. Again, 90 hundreds. Okay, what if we are talking or we are reading money or amount? Okay, so say for example, we have this amount. Okay, so this is how we read it. 8 pesos and 90 centavos. Okay, so as you can see, we no longer add the place value of the rightmost digit. Okay, instead, we add the word centavos and then in the whole number we say pesos okay okay another example we have 570 pesos we the point is end then 25 and then add the word centavos so this number or this amount is read as 570 pesos and 25 centavos now let's proceed to writing decimals so, we have many ways on how to write decimals. We have fraction form, um, standard form, word form, or even expanded form. But, here, we will only learn how to write decimals in standard form and in word form. So, we write decimals like us we are reading decimal numbers. So in standard form, the symbols for the numbers and in word form, we simply write it in words. Okay, let's learn on how to write decimal numbers in words properly. Okay, so this is like we are writing a whole number. We have to observe the correct spelling of the word and, of course, the proper placing of hyphen. Okay, so... For example, we have this number. This given number is read and written as 4 and 89 hundredths. So notice that we also need to put hyphen in between compound words. Another thing to consider is the THS at the end of the place value in a decimal number okay let's have another example
Okay, in this next number, we have... Okay, read it and then write it in words. Okay, so this is how we write it in words. 112 and 967 thousands. So don't forget to put hyphen in between 60 and 7 because that is a compound words or compound number. Okay, next, let's have this number. Okay. Write it in words like as how you read it. So, we read it as 5 and 7 tenths. So, that is how we also write it in words. Observe that it ends with THS. Next, 1067 and 24 thousands. Okay, here we use hyphen in between uh, compound numbers and we use comma after the thousands period. Okay, same rules were applied in the remaining examples. Okay, this time let us learn how to write numbers in standard form from word form. Okay, students, here our mark point is the word N because that is for point. So the number before the word N will be written before the decimal point and the numbers after the word N will be written after the decimal point or on the right side of the decimal point okay so let's start so 500 and so that's point 65 hundredths so make sure that the place value of the last digit to the right matches the place value in the word form okay so five is in hundreds that's why the place value in the word form is hundreds let's have our next example seven and eight thousands okay so the word end is the point okay before end is seven so before point should be digit seven okay so since thousands is the place value of the last digit to the right so we will add two zeros before digit eight okay so that the last place value to the right is thousands next let's have one and six hundred fourteen thousands okay so the place value of the rightmost digit should be thousands okay so one point six hundred fourteen so this is how we write the one and six hundred fourteen thousands in standard form so same rules were applied in our next examples.
Okay, children, that is all about reading and writing decimals. Thank you.